Jay Calderon, 12rounder.com, here to give you the rules of boxing, at least in terms of how I see them. Just very briefly here, what I mean by rules are just things that I believe are true, should be true, or should be acknowledged in regards to the sport. And the further we go along with this, the better idea you'll get of what I mean. The very first rule of boxing is a rule that I hold near and dear to my heart. Rule number one of boxing. You never blame the winner. A lot of times you'll see a fight and it doesn't live up to expectations or, even worse to a certain extent, it's just as bad as you thought it was going to be. And in the end, what always happens? The winning fighter ends up getting blamed occasionally. Every so often you'll hear, well, yeah, the other guy didn't come to fight. He was really negative. He was always on the back foot. But for the most part, it's usually the guy like Vladimir Klitschko or the guy like Floyd Mayweather that gets blamed or Guillermo Rigondia who's blamed for a not-so-fascinating, fantastic fight. That's usually the way it goes. And I gotta tell you, yes, I understand from a marketing standpoint, from a promotional standpoint, from a stardom standpoint, that if you want to be that guy, the guy that people pay big money to watch, you have to do a little bit extra. I get that. And that's for an overall thing, meaning it can't just necessarily happen in one fight. I mean... Even Mayweather has stopped guys relatively recently. The Ortiz fight, of course, was a bit controversial, but nonetheless, he stopped him. And if it, that fixed everything, to, 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 and it silenced all critics that said he was a bit boring or passive or whatever, the fact of the matter is, he'd already have put that problem to rest. But the fact of the matter is, he still looked, that, looked at that way. And I get that. From a long-term perspective, you have to put in that sort of work consistently for people to believe that you are, in fact, an exciting fighter all the time, and they're willing to pay for sheer excitement alone, a la, say, Mike Tyson, who, no matter who he was fighting, just the fact that he was probably going to knock them the hell out made him box office. I get that. But on a fight-by-fight -fight basis, to blame the winner, to me, makes no damn sense. One of those fighters in the ring had to do more, had to do more, in order to win. And it wasn't the winner, because he did everything he had to do to win. You could argue, maybe, that he could have done more, but did he have to? No. The person you should be blaming here is, and I hate to pile on here, but it's the loser. He's the one that should have been doing more. He had to do more in order to win the fight. You could say, yeah, but if the other guy's running or backing away, what's he supposed to do? Well, he's supposed to go into that ring prepared to cut that ring off, to use dimensions, angles, that will allow him to set up better shots. His footwork should be in place so that it allows him the best chance to win. And if he doesn't do that, then who do you blame? Do you blame the winner because he's not a well-schooled enough fighter to win the fight? What's he supposed to do, fight down to the level of his opponent? No. Insofar... As winning is concerned, and insofar as a single fight is concerned, the winner has done absolutely nothing wrong. The person you should be blaming is the guy that gets away with being involved in that sort of fight, the loser, the one that didn't cut off the ring, the one that didn't make the fight, the one that didn't press the answer or press the action, that didn't have an answer for the problems he was facing, had no other dimension than forward. He had nothing else he could go for with, nothing else he could fall back on. He had no second or third plan. He probably didn't even have much of a first one. He was just going to fight it like every other fight. That's his problem, and it's our problem once he steps into the ring with that problem. And when it's our problem, and he's the one that caused it, he is the one who should be blamed. The winner has done everything he's supposed to do. It's not his fault that he's not there waiting for the guy you're rooting for to set up his shots that take forever and a day to get there because he doesn't know how to set them up any other way, and has decided that instead of waiting there, he's going to move and counter and try and make this fight as awkward as possible because it gives him the best chance to fight. You want to blame someone? Blame the guy who couldn't stop him from doing that. That's the person you blame. The winner has done everything he's supposed to do. And so, that is why, in the inaugural rules, I'm going to have to point out Rule number one, never blame the winner. 